गाइस वेलकम टू टैलेंट्स प्रिंट आई एम रोहित अग्रवाल एंड दिस इज योर डेली डोज ऑफ एप्टीट्यूड स्किल्स इन दिस सेशन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लुक एट हाउ टू मल्टीप्लाई नंबर्स दैट आर क्लोज टू हंड्रेड फॉर एग्जांपल हाउ डू वी मल्टीप्लाई नाइन्टी थ्री विथ सिक्सटी और वन नॉट टू विथ वन नॉट सेवन सो एट द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो यू विल बी एबल टू मल्टीप्लाई सच नंबर्स विच आर क्लोज टू हंड्रेड इन जस्ट अबाउट थ्री टू फोर सेकेंड्स लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू डू दिस विद हेल्प ऑफ अ फ्यू एग्जाम्पल्स Let us consider 93 into 96, right? 93 multiplied by 96. Now you very well know that if you go by the conventional multiplication, it would take about 8 to 10 seconds to get the required answer. But here we are going to look at a smart way in which uh, you will be able to get the multiplication of such numbers in about 4 seconds, as I have said. Now all we need to do here is look at the base value that is 100. As you see, both 93 and 96 here are closer to 100. so with respect to 100 we are trying to understand uh, how far are these two numbers and then multiply accordingly for example if our base here is 100 or if we focus on the number 100 you see that 93 is 7 less than 100 right 100 minus 7 gives us 93 similarly 100 minus 4 gives us 96 so all we need to do here is find out the distance of the numbers from the base value of 100 right so 93 is 100 minus 7 and 96 is 100 minus 4 now what do we do next step take the cross difference that is either take the difference of 93 and 4 or 96 and 7 for example 93 minus 4 is 89 or for that matter 96 minus 7 is also 89 so you can take any one of these cross differences so 93 minus 4 gives us 89 right now this is the first part of the answer right 89 how do we get the remaining part of the answer here just multiply the two uh, values that we have got here For example, minus seven into minus four is plus twenty-eight. Remember, you also need to consider the sign here when you go for multiplication. It is not just seven into four; it is minus seven into minus four. Minus seven into minus four is plus twenty-eight. So we just append twenty-eight here, and that gives us the final answer: eight nine two eight. So this is how, just by taking the distance of the given numbers with respect to hundred and the cross difference, you can easily get the product of the numbers without having to write much on paper. Let us look at another example. Let's say one zero two into one zero seven. What do we do in this case? Again, the same concept. Take the base as hundred. Now you see that hundred and two is two more than hundred. So we say plus two, right? The distance of this number from hundred is plus two. Similarly, one not seven is seven more than hundred. So this is plus seven. Again, follow the same procedure. Take the cross addition or the cross difference based on the case. So one zero two plus seven. Is one zero nine or one zero seven plus two is again one zero nine. So you can take any one of them. So this gives us one zero nine, which is the first part of the answer. And then we need to multiply the two distances or the differences that we have got. That is plus two into plus seven is plus fourteen. So the final answer here will be one zero nine one four. Right. So this is how uh, easy it is to multiply numbers that are close to hundred. Let us now take another example where we shall consider one number less than hundred and other. To be more than 100. For example, let's say we need to multiply uh, 98 with 103, right? 98 with 103. Now, what happens in this case? 98 is two less than 100, and 103 is three more than 100, right? So this is plus three. Again, the first step remains the same, right? Either take the cross sum or the cross difference here. So 98 plus three is 101, or 103 minus two is again 101. So we have got 101 here. But then, if you look at the product of these two values here, minus two into plus three is minus six. Now, what do we do that? Minus two into plus three is minus six. But uh, how do we add that to one zero one here? All we need to do is see if you understand the concept behind this method. We always have two zeros followed by one zero one. Like in the first case, we have taken eighty nine. Ninety three minus four is eighty nine, and followed by which were two zeros. To these two zeros, when we add 28, we get the final answer as 8928. Same was the case in the second example. 102 plus 7 is 109, and was followed by two zeros. Now we simply add 14 here. But in this case, since we are getting a negative value, we have to subtract that from the value 10100. Right? So the whole idea is, when you are taking the base as 100, after the first step, we'll have two zeros after that. 8900 plus 28, 10900 plus 14. But in this case, it is one zero one zero zero minus six. So just subtract six from this, and you get your answer. So one zero one zero zero minus six would be one double zero nine four. So that's your answer uh, of ninety eight into one zero three. So this is how we can multiply numbers that are close to hundred in a smart way without having to write much on paper.
So now that we have learned how to multiply numbers that are close to 100 with the help of these three examples, let us understand a very important point. What do we do if we get a three digit number as a product of the two values that we get here? Let us understand this with the help of a simple example. Let us say we have to multiply 108 with 116, right? Let us see what happens in this case, 108 into 116. Now what do we do following the procedure that we have learned? 108 is 8 more than 100 and 116 is 16 more than 100, right? Now going by the process 108 plus 16 is 124, right? Now we need to multiply these two values plus 8 into plus 16, plus 8 into plus 16 is 128. Now as you all know there are only two zeros followed by 124, right? This we have already learned that there are only two zeros followed by the number that we get in the first step. But the product that we have got here of 8 and 16 is 128. So be careful that the answer here in this case will not be 124, 128. This is going to be a uh, wrong answer. All we need to do is add 128 to 12400. So this gives us 12528 as the final answer. So you need to be careful about uh, those cases where we get three digit product of the two values or in a case where we get a single digit number, right? Single digit number, you just take 101, 0 plus 6. If it is, let us say, plus 2 into plus 3, we get 6. So you do not say the answer is 1016. It should be 10106 because there is always two zeros followed by the first step, all right? So just be careful about this point where we get three digit product or a two di uh, single digit product and follow this method to multiply numbers that are close to 100. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope all of you have enjoyed this. Uh, we shall come up with more such videos on speed maths which will help you do these kind of calculations really quick in your exam. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. See you in the next session.